Welcome back, Gadgeteers. Today we're going to talk about battery life in Linux and how it compares to Windows. This has been a big issue of contention for Windows users who would like to experiment with Linux and, quite frankly, Linux users. And I have to tell you, over the years, battery life has improved so much in Linux. It's definitely different than it used to be. And I wanted to just illustrate that and give you an example of how battery life has been for me with my system. Now, I do a check on battery life every year or two. Whenever I get a newer system, I usually have a look at how battery life is doing. And as you know, most of my systems are dual boot, so I can test it in Windows and in Linux. The system I was using was a Lenovo Yoga 910 with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 13.9 inch diagonal 4K display. It's the system that you see behind me here. It also has a 512 gigabyte SSD, although I don't really think that impacts performance too much but it could possibly. For the test system, I'm using Fedora 27 as my Linux, and I have Windows 10 creators, actually the fall creators update on that system. What kind of test criteria did I use when I was testing my system? Well, first of all, I was using the so-called balanced mode in Windows, and about the same thing in Linux. It's a little bit different in Linux, of course, because it's different software. I used a package you can download called TLP, and I just left it at the de default settings once I downloaded it. So I've found with TLP that battery life is extended, and I do recommend installing that package. I know you can get it on uh, Debian-based packages. I know you can get it on Fedora-based packages and Red Hat and CentOS. So I'm sure you can put it on any Linux, essentially. The screen brightness, things were a little bit different for me than what you see when you read reviews. So I want to go over all the criteria that I used. One, screen brightness. I set it between 65 and 70 percent. Now the strange thing about Linux is when you increment the screen brightness up and down, it increments up much slower than Windows 10 does. And it's really unusual because when you're at what appears to be about the 30 percent setting, it is the equivalent brightness in Windows at the 70 percent setting. So it's a little bit deceiving you think that you know you've got the brightness down at 30 percent but in reality you don't so i just wanted to warn you on that but my screen brightness for either linux or windows was about 70 percent the other test criteria the screen was on 90 percent of the time i tried to use the system all through the day both in windows and in linux and i had the help of my wife to ensure that the system didn't go to sleep screen time on time of about 90 percent this test was ideal for me because i had work to do uh, for the teaching that i do and i also had work to do on the fast gadgets website that i'm setting up so i literally was able to most of the time sit and use the system and if I had to walk away from it, my wife helped me to make sure that the screen stayed on. So what you will see in the press, if you go and read reviews, they'll tell you it can vary. One site told me 10 hours for battery life, which I think is typical. PC Magazine cracked me up. They said they got 21 and a half hours battery life. They must have had it on battery saver mode and low battery or in fall creators update there's two settings that you can adjust i forget what the one's called i'll put it on the screen where you can adjust a slider and scale it to more battery or more performance you can slide it i had it about three quarters of the way to more battery so they must have had the slider all the way down and the power mode on battery saver and the screen on 5% and did literally nothing to get that 21 hours. I like to use real world testing. So what I'm doing is 
a balance of performance and battery life because I always like some reasonable performance and I actually had less performance in Windows 10 so just to let you know you could see some lag in Windows 10 because the battery mode that I was using on the slider was more towards conserving battery life. I'm really looking at a reasonable amount of brightness. I never use 40%. I would only do something like that, go super low on the screen and use the lowest battery saver mode if I was absolutely desperate for power and I couldn't do without having any battery life and I had no access to an electrical outlet. So otherwise I wanted to closely emulate being on power. So I'm not expecting to play games, but I do expect office applications to open readily and basic internet browsing and some general video watching at 1080p. And that's what I did. I only watched videos at 1080p. The other factor is that the screen resolution was always set at 4K whether it was in Windows or Linux. I want to point out that if you are getting any of the systems that are in the ultra portable group that you be aware that the 1080p screens are going to use less battery and last longer on the battery than the 4k counterparts that you can get. So I suppose you could run it in 1080p if you wanted to but I have a feeling that you're going to get less battery life running a 4K display in 1080p than if you buy a 1080p laptop. So I haven't been able to test that, but theoretically that's what I'm thinking. So with all this testing, what did I come up with? Well, it was actually surprising for me. I ran Windows 10 and I got 6 hours and 45 minutes of battery life, which I thought was really good considering once again I'm in balanced mode and I have the brightness up substantially more than what most testing is done at. Fedora Linux on the other hand ran at 7 hours and 10 minutes. To me performance looked better when I was in Linux so you heard me right Linux actually lasted longer than Windows 10 and it wasn't like a huge difference it was only 25 minutes and I can guarantee you I could eke out more performance out of Windows 10 or if I use battery saving mode and power settings and I turn the slider down to conserve battery life in Windows 10 I'm sure I could get way more battery life and I have in the Lenovo Yoga 910 but it does appear with the fall creators update that I am getting less battery life than I used to because I'm pretty sure that in my testing I was getting at least eight hours of battery life in Windows 10 before and I always do the same testing I usually uh, am in balanced mode just in my daily activities but whenever I do the battery testing I like to test it in balanced mode specifically because that's really the setting that I'm using most of the time and my whole theory is I unless I'm on a Atlantic flight you know that's gonna take seven hours and it assumes you don't have access to power which you always do even on those circumstances I don't really worry too much about getting that 10 or 15 hours of battery life with the screen extremely dim and the power settings at you know their lowest so there you have it Windows 10, 6 hours, 45 minutes. Fedora Linux, 7 hours, 10 minutes. 25 minutes longer. This does not in any way reflect Windows 10 abilities or Fedora's. So it, those of you who are going to pop up and say, oh, you must have messed up your test or whatever. Well, I mean, it's a stock configuration. The only thing I did was install the Fall Creators update recently. That would be the biggest change and if I do some updates it may change and I have I made sure I did all the updates before I ran the test in both Fedora and Windows 10 so I had all the possible updates that I could I did have Bluetooth on during the testing I should mention that and I had Wi-Fi on as well and that was in both test modes whether it was Fedora or Windows so the bottom line is with a reasonably modern laptop I think it's completely acceptable to get about seven hours whether you're in Windows or Linux 
at least Fedora Linux. Now I can't say for the other versions of Linux and I can't say if they don't have TLP installed. So have a look at that package. Make sure it's going to work well with your version of Linux before you install it. And of course if you test it and things get worse you can always uninstall. But my experience has been with the TLP package I have always had better battery life in Linux. So I hope this is useful for you and if you're thinking about Linux and you're really worried about battery life at least with Fedora Linux I can tell you right now that you're going to get really good battery life and a reasonable amount of daily everyday use like browsing the internet running office applications and a few hours two to three hours of video time and I'm sure you could up that although it would cut into your battery life I think that these modern systems run great I have a MacBook 2008 with a brand new battery that I bought a year or two ago I really can only get 90 minutes on that system maybe two hours if I push it so so much has changed with computer technology uh, especially these mobile computers in part the efficiency of the processor and memory and low power stages where they can if they're not being used they cut back you know extensively on power consumption and battery design and just overall design of the entire system has made them much much better I thought that there really wasn't a better operating system to be in as far as performance and and overall use. I did notice a little bit of lagginess in Windows 10, but then again, I'm trying to conserve battery, so I expect that a little bit. How the operating system chooses to conserve the battery is going to vary, so you can't expect them both to perform exactly the same. And when I talk about lagginess, it would be, you know, just simple things like opening the browser, you know, when the browser would pop up, it might just kind of lag as it came up maybe just a hair. We're talking about a two second open time versus a one and a half second open time in Linux. Don't be afraid to experiment with running off of battery on Linux and if you're thinking of doing dual boot or switching to Linux I'm pretty sure that an Ubuntu or Debian installation or a Fedora installation with TLP installed you're really going to be surprised at how long your battery lasts. I wanted to add also, and this is important, in the BIOS, I did use, and I always do, use quiet mode. So there's three settings in the BIOS. There's high performance mode, balanced mode, and quiet mode. I like quiet mode because it keeps the fan quieter. It does shave off maybe 5 or 10% of the processor's performance but I never notice it and even when I'm rendering long videos it's a negligible difference it basically just ensures that the fan doesn't run at high speed therefore you're gonna have a just a little bit of thermal throttling the way the Yoga 910's design I really don't experience much at all hope you enjoyed this video if it was something useful for you like and subscribe if I can get those subscription numbers up I could take on some advertising in video I know that you don't like to see that kind of stuff but it helps pay the bills because as you know many of the videos I'm producing now are being marked as not monetizable or very little monetization which basically means none it kind of surprises me when I talk about Linux that I'm having monetization issues it cracks me up but anyway that's life so your subscription means a lot to me and I always appreciate it when you share. If it's something useful to you, definitely share. I'm not saying just share the videos just because. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Fast Gadgets. This video was made possible with support from viewers like you. If you find this video useful, consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month at patreon.com forward slash fast gadgets.